Hello ladies and lords and welcome back to the channel. Today's guide is going to be on wives. Now today's guide is going to be a quick and dirty guide as I do not believe this is a subject that needs laboring on too much. Forgive the pun. Now we'll be covering four main topics today. What can wives do? How to get a wife? How do babies? And best waifu. Now I've picked a selection of 12 wives I believe are some of the best starting wives you can get. Feel free to disagree with me in the comments, and if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. With that said, let's get straight into it. So chapter one, what can a wife do? Well, for one, they can be governors, especially if they share the same culture as the occupied fief. See my governor's guide if you want more information about that. Two, they can be really effective party leaders. Yana from the Kazay or Liena from the Valadians are both really good choices for this. They have high stewardship, high leadership, and high combat skills to begin with. You can also take them to the arena and respect some of their combat perks to ones that fit their role better. Three, they can be captains in your army. I personally use Savannah of the Sturgeons to lead my infantry and Nadia of the Western Empire to lead my archers. Kareen of the Batanians can fit either role, however I have noticed she tends to die a lot. Do with that as you will. Again, going back to the skills and perks, the perks are reselectable from the arena, so you can really fine tune these people to lead your troops in the way that you want them to be led. They make very effective captains early game. Number four, baby machines. If you're a weirdo and all you want a wife for is to spit out babies repeatedly and you're planning on having an extremely long campaign, so family dynasty is important to you, you can do this, but what kind of masochist actually does that to themselves? If you are going to do this, you're going to need the Charm 25 perk Virar, which will give you a 30% increased chance to conceive. Now, there's no reason to drag your wife to the arena to get her perks reset if you already have Virar, because it does not stack. Only one of you needs it for it to be effective. And the last thing they can do is lead trade caravans. Now, trade caravans are completely pointless in late game when you can win a war and walk away with 80k. There's absolutely no reason to have 21,000 worth of your dinars running around the map getting captured by steppy bandits. So just don't do it. Chapter 2, How to Get a Wife. Well, there's two ways of getting a wife. The first way is to court one through the mini game. So you go up to the person, you tell them you're the most ardent admirer, and then they will put you into a mini game where you answer three questions, and you have to go away for a day, you come back, you answer another three questions, and if you answer all six in a satisfactory manner, she will give you permission to ask her family or clan leader for permission to marry her, and you pay them some money, and Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Now, your charm skill, your native charm skill, will help you with this particular situation as you do get increased relationships with npcs at the back of your charm skill however there is no perks until level 200 and uh, with moral leader or natural leader and what kind of absolute psychopath gets their charm to 200 before getting a wife i just don't understand you at all now there is some light at the end of the tunnel at 75 athletics you do get a perk called imposing stature in which it will give you a plus 30 percent persuasion chance of success so that's going to be the perk that you want to go for if you're going to take this particular route Alternatively, with this being set at the medieval times, you can just buy her. So if you bypass the minigame completely, go straight to the it's clan leader or to her father, you can speak to them, propose an alliance through marriage, and then they will basically give you a flat fee just to take her as a wife. Now, you can reduce this fee by becoming a merc for that particular faction, and then during the war, taking lord prisoners and troops and then donating them to the clan specifically that you want to marry into, and then what that does is it increases your reputation with that clan, so when it comes to purchasing a wife, the cost is much, much, much lower because they like you much, much more. Chapter 3, How to Do Babies. Now, as long as your wife is in your party and she's travelling with you, she has a chance of getting pregnant. You used to have to wait inside a settlement to get pregnant, but I've been travelling across the world map and got the pregnancy notification, so I don't think that is really a requirement anymore. Please, by all means, correct me in the comments if you experience something differently. But while your wife is in the party, she has a chance to get pregnant. Once she is pregnant, there's one of three outcomes for the baby. Either you get a baby, you get two babies, or you get no babies. And there is one of two outcomes for the wife. Either she survives or you need another wife. Chapter 4. The best wife. Now, the best wife comes down to what you need them for. Um, specifically, what kind of campaign that you're running and what you're going to be doing with those wives. So it's very opinion-based and it's very subjective. So I'll leave it up to you guys to fight in the comments as to who's the best wife and grow increasingly offended at the fact that I've missed off your favourite waifu. It's just how it is. Now the rest of this video will be the 12 wives that I have selected for you that I believe are the best wives in the game currently. I've taken in-game screenshots of their armour and skills at the point that I married them so you can see what kind of things you're walking into. Like the really expensive gear that you're totally not going to take off of them because it's end-game gear that you don't have access to yet. With that being said, I will leave you to your devices and see you in the next one.